Preserve, collect, and display Henrietta artifacts. That's the mission of the Henrietta Territorial Museum, and it's something they do very well. Even the building that houses the museum has its own fascinating history. It was the first schoolhouse and later was used as the first courthouse. So essentially, almost everything that started in Henrietta started right here in this building. As you will find, numerous items that are typical of most museums are on display. But there's one thing in particular that truly captures your eye when walking in. Photographs, but not just any pictures. They have the Joseph W. Hardin collection. It's an incredible visual display, historically speaking, because Hardin was ahead of his time. Yeah, yeah, he was. I think it was about 1920 when he came here. I'm not, not sure that's, that's the date, but he died in his, in his studio in, in 1968, still turning out photos and just really create mine and, that, and that's what he did for 50 years just work with his camera and, and uh, he, he is, has been used in uh, photographic classes in, in universities and things his, his techniques and his pictures and things like that so he, he was nationally known. The amazing photos you'll see are originals 10 to 12 feet long needless to say in Hardin's time there was no Photoshop the Smithsonian even wants one of his photos, and the museum will be sending it soon. And by the way, these photos can now be viewed on the museum's website. One of the many things I like about museums is browsing through the artifacts from the town's roster of people who went on to become famous nationally and internationally. In this case, you'll find displays from professional athletes from the area. Two of Henrietta's most celebrated citizens are football great Troy Aikman. Yeah, Troy Aikman was a was a hen that uh, went to Henrietta or went to Dallas and, and uh, uh, helped make Henrietta no notorious again and, and uh, he's he'd been quite an ambassador for, for Henrietta and, uh, in his career. And rodeo champion Jim Shoulders. We have uh, a saddle that, that he won. They uh, also there's a there was a day, uh, Jim Shoulders Day, that, that was, had, has just happened, and so we have a picture of that with the family showing uh, that happening at the state capitol. History has been defined as events that form the subject matter of a history. At the Henrietta Territorial Museum, you'll find fascinating artifacts as well as photos that do indeed preserve and display the proud history of this part of our great state. In Henrietta, I'm Dean O'Lally.